Hello there, I'm Dr. Scott Mosser, board certified plastic surgeon and also the founder and creator of the uh, Gender Confirmation Center of San Francisco, California. I perform gender surgery and today I'm going to answer a question um, with regard to non-binary uh, results for top surgery. So the question is, uh, is there a way to uh, get uh, non-binary top surgery that doesn't alter the nipples but just reduces the size? So um, this could mean a whole bunch of different things to be honest with you. So first of all, plastic surgeons consider the nipples to be just the cylindrical projected part of the nipple areola portion of the chest. Um, the areola is the wide, circular, pigmented part. Um, most top surgery procedures do reduce the diameter of the pigmented part because most people don't want a, a classically female, fairly wide uh, areola to their chest, uh, on their chest after surgery. Now, some procedure types will, um, will modify the projection portion of the nipple. So a double incision will always reduce the projection portion of the nipple because it's always a part of, of, um, of, of grafting, of skin grafting to reduce the thickness and the projection of something. So that's almost always in a double incision procedure. Um, <clears throat> a buttonhole procedure or an aggressive breast reduction or a, a periareolar top surgery um, might maintain the projection of the nipple even though the areola is usually reduced in, in the majority of those procedures uh, per the patient's preference. Um, and so uh, those are the basics um, with regard to uh, uh, nipple and areola reduction, and those can be done to varying degrees. So a uh, non-binary result would usually be a bit more width to the areola uh, or a bit more projection to the nipple. Um, and I think the main, main take-home lesson here is uh, know your priorities, look at a lot of photos, know what makes you happy and gives you a sense of euphoria, and then articulate these desires and concerns with your surgeon. And uh, hopefully they can customize the result to you and give you the um, gender expansive, also known as non-binary, result that you're looking for.